Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Minvindas Ragulskis from Konos University of Technology, Lithuania. I'm going to present my speech entitled uh, Temporary Stabilization of a Stable Orbits and Discrete Nonlinear Fractional Maps at the Mini Symposium on Discrete Fractional Dynamics and its Applications. This is the outline of my talk. I will introduce H ranks and uh, uh, demonstrate uh, the applicability for non-invertible maps. As a typical example, I use logistic map and will show non asymptotic convergence. Then uh, I will switch to invertible systems, uh, a typical example, invertible bouncer system, and we'll discuss about the existence of non asymptotic convergence in invertible systems. Then I will discuss a fractional difference logistic map as a typical example of fractional maps. And finally, uh, I will talk about uh, temporary stabilization of unstable orbits in fractional maps. The rank of a sequence uh, is based uh, on uh, the concept on the Hankel transform of a sequence when uh, the original scalar time series is transformed uh, into determinants of Kankel catalectic and matrices. And uh, the rank of exequence is uh, equal to M if uh, higher order determinants uh, than M are all equal to zero. Uh, in order to reconstruct the mathematical model of a sequence, we need to use uh, the so-called special uh, characteristic equation for the uh, Hankel matrix. Note the difference between the standard eigenvalues and uh, uh, Hankel eigenvalues, and uh, we can use uh, this kind of model reconstruction to simulate and approximate uh, different processes. And uh, also, uh, it, it is possible to use this concept and these techniques for approximating uh, uh, time series contaminated by external noise. And here are some examples showing how the H eigenvalues, uh, they do approximate the exact eigenvalues uh, when uh, uh, the additive noise uh, is uh, contaminating uh, the original sequence. Uh, the logistic map is um, non-invertible and uh, each time you need to make a backward step, uh, you, you, you have to choose uh, which way to go. And uh, based uh, on uh, such kind of uh, backwards computation, it's possible to construct the stable and the unstable manifolds. And uh, it is also, a, uh, one is able to, to, to see the, the whole structure of uh, the, the stable and uh, the unstable maps. Well, uh, when, the, um, when the parameter of the logistic map exceeds one, uh, so in the range between one and three, uh, the, the, the stable fixed point is uh, one minus one over A. At three, the first period double bifurcation occurs, but in this uh, plot, we just uh, focus uh, on a period one orbit. Uh, the, the solid line uh, shows, uh, uh, well, the, uh, the original coordinate uh, of the original, of the initial condition, which uh, does result uh, in uh, the fixed point, period one orbit in one time forward step. And uh, the thinner is the line, the higher is uh, the number of steps needed to reach the period one orbit in uh, a fixed number of points, non-asymptotically. So the process uh, crashes into a stable orbit and uh, the system continues to evolve uh, uh, in, uh, in, in, in uh, the predetermined orbit. Well, uh, the pattern of, of H rank uh, is able to uh, show the intertwined uh, manifolds of so the stable and stable and uh, non-asymptotic non uh, convergence. Uh, you can observe, uh, you can, you can uh, observe uh, the first period double bifurcation. 
You can observe the homoclinic bifurcation. You can observe uh, the pre-images uh, of uh, the period uh, one orbit, which is stable until the uh, period double bifurcation and is unstable after that. But still, we can observe all these pre-images and uh, note that the maximum order of the Henkel matrix uh, used in this plot is 20. And uh, it's uh, easy to determine uh, these uh, types of uh, different uh, asymptotic convergence uh, properties. Uh, the first thing to notice uh, is uh, the ordinary asymptotic convergence to a stable period two orbit when the parameter A is set to 3.3, when the period two orbit is stable and uh, period one orbit is non-stable, is unstable. So this is an illustration of uh, asymptotic convergence. Non-asymptotic convergence to stable period two orbit, we start from the condition in the pre-image. Uh, we use two forward steps to reach uh, the period two uh, non-asymptotically. And finally, non-asymptotic convergence to the unstable fixed point, to uh, the unstable period one orbit. Again, we start of the pre-image and we, we select this pre-image to, in, in to, to make the system to converge uh, non-asymptotically in two time forward steps. So three different transient processes do exist in the logistic map. Asymptotic convergence to a stable orbit, non-asymptotic convergence to a stable orbit, and non-asymptotic convergence to an unstable orbit. What would happen if a map is completely invertible? Then uh, it's, uh, it's a very well-known fact that non-asymptotic convergence cannot exist in completely invertible maps. It's easy to prove this fact uh, using, uh, you, well, uh, uh, it's, 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 it's really, really, well, very well illustrated and very well discussed fact. And uh, I will use uh, the paradigmatic bouncer system to illustrate uh, what happens uh, in the invertible bouncer system where we map it with uh, the means of uh, the H ranks. So it describes a particle falling down in a constant gravitational field on a moving platform. As I mentioned, it is completely invertible. Uh, the bifurcation diagram at fixed alpha and uh, varying beta. Uh, a, a patterns of H ranks at different beta. And uh, this uh, three dimensional uh, H ranks, uh, the sections of uh, uh, in, in the three dimensional space results uh, in plane images and plane patterns of H ranks in horizontal and vertical sections. Again, uh, asymptotic convergence to a stable period two orbit is uh, completely non-astonishing. However, uh, we observe that uh, uh, the initial conditions selected uh, at the centers of the pre-images, they do result into some sort of uh, non-asymptotic convergence, temporary convergence, temporary attractions to the previously unstable orbit. Uh, as we discussed previously, uh, non-asymptotic convergence cannot exist in completely invertible systems. And this is a good illustration that after a certain period of time, the system diverges from uh, the unstable period one orbit, diverges to the st stable period two orbit. Uh, the, this fact is not astonishing. What is really astonishing is that the skeleton time structure of the pattern of H ranks reveals this kind of um, uh, manifold, uh, pseudo stable manifold of non asymptotic convergence in a completely invertible system. This, this uh, kind of uh, trajectory and uh, trying to trajectory control and uh, the, this kind of uh, evolution of the system allows to develop a control strategy for temporary stabilization of unstable orbits in completely invertible maps. And uh, uh, as, as we've discussed, uh, this is a two-dimensional system. We plot X case and Y case 
And uh, these dashed lines, these thin dashed lines, they correspond to uh, stable to uh, period to orbit. And if we set a range uh, where the variables, uh, where the varying x's and y's are allowed uh, to, 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 to develop and uh, to allow to evolve, uh, at the moment uh, when uh, the magnitude of the coordinate uh, exceeds uh, the allowed uh, boundaries, uh, one could apply a short control impulse uh, aiming at uh, the nearest uh, branch of uh, the shadow of the non-asymptotic manifold of non-asymptotic convergence and the system will automatically stabilize itself and return back uh, to uh, the unstable orbit of course for a fixed number of iterations in time. Finally, the trajectory, the, the, the process will diverge from the unstable, from the unstable orbit, uh, but again, uh, if it will exceed uh, the predetermined limits, uh, one could issue, one can apply a small control impulse uh, pointing to the nearest branch of the uh, neck uh, manifold and uh, the system will again uh, turn it over to, to the nearest, uh, to, to, to the nearest uh, unstable, unstable orbit. Uh, it appears that uh, if uh, the system is perturbed by the additive noise, uh, we in this particular case we perturb just uh, the coordinate x, then uh, a proper selection of uh, the, the, the noise and uh, the properties of the noise, its magnitude, and uh, it's possible to, to find uh, such, such uh, uh, excitations that uh, they would result in longer stabilization of the unstable orbits compared to the original, original number of steps required to contaminate uh, the transient process in the, in the predetermined uh, uh, boundary. Uh, we continue with uh, the fractional difference logistic map uh, as uh, typical as a paradigmatic model of the fractional maps. Again, uh, H ranks, they show the complexity of the transient processes but it's interesting to denote uh, that uh, an interesting repetitive pattern uh, resembling the uh, manifold of uh, non-asymptotic convergence exists in uh, this uh, pattern of H ranks. This is rather astonishing fact and uh, it can be explained, it can, it can be illustrated by the following examples. Uh, initial conditions selected somewhere in the region between these branches results in the asymptotic convergence to a stable period to orbit. But if we select the initial condition right uh, on the skeleton curve uh, of this manifold, it results in temporary stabilization of uh, the unstable orbit. It, uh, the same statement holds for other branches and uh, it looks, it, it, the similarity between uh, the completely invertible models and uh, the similarity uh, between the fractional model and uh, um, completely invertible models where uh, a non-asymptotic convergence uh, cannot exist is really, really uh, interesting and uh, I, I would even say it's completely counterintuitive, especially keeping in mind that uh, the memory horizon of a fractional model reaches initial conditions. Nevertheless, we see some sort of almost asymptotic initial convergence to the unstable orbit, which eventually loses the stability and uh, converges to the stable period to orbit. And of course, these experiments can be continued 
with uh, period four, period eight, and uh, even higher order orbits. And uh, these stabilizations of uh, lower orbits can be executed uh, in a completely similar way. And uh, finally, the question for discussion, can unstable orbits be stabilized in fractional maps where the memory horizon reaches the initial conditions? This is an interesting question. So we are working on these, on these issues and initial computational experiments show that uh, it is really possible. So our aim is to develop such control algorithms which could uh, temporarily stabilize and keep the system in the surrounding of uh, the unstable orbits for indefinite periods of time. Similarly, as I was explaining, uh, for completely invertible non-fractional maps. So as I said, uh, this is a big challenge and, and uh, I, I really leave this question for, for, for discussions. Thank you very much for your attention.